morning all i am poonam swapnil sadhu working as assistant professor in department of computer engineering iissms iit pune today we are going to see the array topic of java programming so what is array the array in java is an object which contain the elements of similar data type additionally the elements of an array are stored in a contiguous memory location it is a data structure where we store similar elements array in java is index based that is the first element of the array is stored at the zeroth index the second element is stored on the first index and so on types of array in java a one dimensional array that is single dimensional array is a linear data structure consisting of a fixed number of elements of the same data type stored in contiguous memory location multi dimensional array a two dimensional array takes two dimensions one for the row and one for the column for example if you specify an integer array in arr 44 then it means the matrix will have four rows and four columns or you can say for each row there will be four columns now consider this example program which shows declaration initialization and displaying the array here we have taken a class demo array and then in that we have declared and instantiated the array like int ar square bracket equal to new int 5 which gives the size for the array as 5 so we can insert the five elements into the array starting from the index 0 so initialization involves ar0 is equal to 50 then ar1 is equal to 60 ar2 is equal to 70 ar3 is 80 ar4 90 this 0 1 2 3 Four represent the index at which the values are stored. Now we print the array using the for loop. So in i is equal to zero, i is less than a r dot length, where length is the property of an array. I plus plus, and it will give out us the array which we have. instantiated and initialized this program shows the usage of an array here we have firstly created an array then assigned the values to the array by the indexes after that we use the for loop to we use the for loop and get the value of each of the element that is present at every index of an array in the variable v and we print that value every time now displaying the declared array now here we have taken an array demo array we have declared initiated and initialized here directly int arr equal to 33345 now we want to print the array so we use the for loop and we use the length property of an array in the for loop and we print the array now we are adding two dimensional array now here what we do we take two arrays array a and array b of the uh, dimension 2 to here we have directly declared instantiated and initiated the array where a is having the values 1 2 3 6 5 4 and b is having the values 6 5 4 1 2 3 <laughs> now creating another uh, array to store the value of the two dimensional arrays now here a and b are the two matrices and so to store the addition of the two matrices i am creating one more ma ma 
matrix C. Now to add the two matrices, I will use two for loops, one for the row and other for the column. Now after that, I will apply the formula C of ij is equal to A of ij plus B of ij and print the value of the sum of the two matrices. Here, I want to find out the average of an array. Now here, we have taken a class AVG. We have declared, instantiated and initiated the array of the double data type. After that, we have taken a variable result which will store the average value. Then we have applied the for loop and we have added, no, no, we have uh, taken the result variable to store the sum of the arrays. Then we have applied the for loop, added all the values of the array and then we have printed the average by using AV average is uh, the sum divided by total number of values present in that array. That is result res divided by sum. Now here to accept the uh, array values from the user. Now here we use the scanner class. So we create the instance of the scanner class. After that we enter the elements using the function s.nextn and we display the values. In this way, we have studied the concept of arrays in Java. Thank you.